guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be doing a review and swatches of the Satan Center palette by Kat Von D. Um, you know, when I first saw this palette, I was very intrigued. And when I went in store during the VIB sale, I fell in love. So I went ahead and made that purchase. Um, and definitely that 20% off did help quite a bit. Um, so getting right into it, this is the packaging right here. This is gorgeous. Um, and then you turn this around and then it shows you all the different colors. It also has our names on here. And then going straight into the palette itself, this is what it looks like. It is a stunning palette. The creativeness that had to go behind this is amazing. Um, so you open this up and there are all your gorgeous colors right there. She really outdid herself this time. This is just artwork. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get into swatches. There are a lot of swatches to be done. I'm just going to take it by rows like I always do and then we will go straight into thoughts. swatches <laughs> that bottom row blows my mind I mean the crazy pigmentation they are just bright and beautiful and <sighs> the colors in this are so gorgeous but let's go ahead and get into thoughts so now one of the things that I was concerned about when I got this palette um, as a lot of people have the same concern would be the placement of the shadows in the palette. Um, you know, a lot of people saying that it doesn't make sense uh, for someone like me who kind of looks at a palette and wonders what kind of look am I gonna create. I can kind of understand that because I do get a little lost looking at this. Um, I actually had a hard time creating this look tonight. I just really had a kind of a hard time figuring out what direction I wanted to go. The colors are beautiful. They are extremely pigmented. Um, I had no issues with them on the eyes whatsoever. Uh, the blendability of your mattes is incredible. I didn't have any issues with that either. But um, now I did see a YouTuber and I will have her link down below. Um, she actually depotted this whole thing and she did place it back in the order that she wanted it to be. Now it does have the names here, but it also has the names on the back. So what she did, um, is she cut this out, um, since it has all the names right here and she glued them on the back right here. So this would actually have the setup of her new placement for her palette. She would just have to ignore, um, the names on the front. So. That is an option, that is something that you definitely can do. Like I said, I will have her video linked down below. I thought that was very interesting. Those of you who are um, really efficient at something like that, I would say, you know, if that's something that you feel that you wanna do, go ahead and do it. Like I said, the packaging is incredible. The design is amazing. Um, she is a genius. <laughs> but, you know, the mirrors on here, I don't think necessarily that you have to throw mirrors in a palette just to have mirrors. Um, that doesn't really make any sense to me. I did have a really hard time trying to hold this and do my look at the same time. So the only way that I will be able to use this is if I lay it down um, and just kind of dip my brush in from there. There was no way I could hold this and uh, and go into a mirror 
because the palette is just so big. So, so that was a con for me. So this palette does retail for $62. Um, like I said, I was lucky enough to pick it up during the sale, so I did not pay full price for this. Um, however, I do believe it is worth full price. You do get 24 shades in this palette. It is available on the Kat Von D website. Um, it is also available and exclusive to Sephora. So this palette is 100% cruelty free. Kat Von D does not test on animals, so that is always a huge plus in my book. So that wraps it up for the Kat Von D Saint and Sinner palette. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did like this video. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram. I will have that link down below as well. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button so you can be notified of any future videos that I may have, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!